y'all it's jasmine welcome back to my channel today we're gonna talk about my favorite bronzers and contour powders for dark skin part two if you missed the first part i did in 2016 you can catch it right up here but i really just wanted to come back and update you all on some of my favorite bronzers and contour powders that are actually dark enough to contour and bronze our deep dark skin mm -hmm. so first being our Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder and an improved formula. These two are Cognac and this is Ebony. I have swatches on my arm as I talk to you guys about this so you guys can see these. For $5, I really don't think that you can beat the price. Um, these are super smooth, super light. They're not super, super dark, so that you're not going to get that color payoff like the Sasha or the MAC Embark. But if you are my skin tone and maybe a shade darker, um, these will work as a contour. And they're, they're matte, so they don't have any shimmer. I tend to like my contour powders and bronzer bronzers with a little bit of shimmer but the odds are against us we don't have a lot of options unfortunately um hopefully these cosmetic companies will change that but these are nice so these are the ruby kisses um uh, mineral powders and these are i guess powder foundations um but i say you can use them as um contour powders and bronzing powders the next one is super cheap <laughs> I found this at the Beauty Supply, but the color payoff is beautiful. This is very shimmery. This is a clean color bronzer in the color Luna. Super shimmery, and it's very warm. So if you like your red tones, if you like that, um, the tone that CoverGirl Queen gives off, this is your girl. She's super shimmery, though, so I would just take her, and this is how I take her. I'm going to show you guys. I literally tap just a little and I would take her and kind of contour highlight with her, especially on the rim of my forehead to get that nice little perimeter burn. Um, she's cute. Next, I have a Black Radiance Press Powder in Black Coffee. This is a new shade. Um, I think they, ex well, they extended their range, um, their shade range, and this is the darkest color, and it's in Black Coffee. I used to use Ebony, I think, but Ebony is not as dark um, as I like it to be, and so I'm so glad they extended their shade range. This baby right here, I be in the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1. Super um, rich. It reminds me of Max Sketch or um, it's another blush by MAC that's super dark brown, but it's more purple. This one is more brown. Super warm. Um, get in there and contour with it. She just carves my little double chin out, honey. And I go in here. This is what I use to contour. I wouldn't bronze with this because it is very rich and um, it's on the darker side. So the um, Abbey color from the Saharan Blush Palette, this blush palette will run you about 20 bucks. Um, I'd say it's worth it because you have your highlighters and your blush in here. And then this one, this is just a winner. It's just absolutely a winner. Next is not a powder, but like honorable mention, seriously. This is the Danessa Myricks Beauty cover cream or bronzing cream in the shade deep <sighs> y'all will see this swatch but god it's creamy it's just bomb for those of you who like to go in and contour after you've set your highlight um you can use it like that or before you set everything when you highlight um and do your foundation go in and cream contour this one is bomb it's worth the price you get a lot of product for the price um and you can find this on Danessa Myricks Beauty.com or Danessa Myricks.com. I forgot which one, but you know, I'll link it down below. Bomb, bomb, bomb. This is like a hidden gem. And this is the City Mini Palette by Maybelline and the color Rooftop Bronzes. And so you have all of these light shades in here. But then you have these two darker shades and you see that I use them because they're bomb. And if you see in the swatch, these are actually very deep shimmery shades, but they give you like a like a an um illuminating look. So it's not going to be too shimmery, it's like super illuminating. So this is Marina Butte 
Um, this is a Swedish brand, Swedish black owned brand, by the way. And um, although they're based in Sweden, they do ship worldwide. And it only took me like maybe mm, a week to 10 days to get my stuff. So the first shade is gonna be Eben. And this is like a super warm brown. It's gonna give you the bronze. It's gonna give you the warmth, and you can contour with this if you um, if you would like as well. This is a powder foundation, but of course I use this as um, a contour powder. And last but not least, we have Marina Beauty Chocolate. This shade, as you can see from the swatch, has gold shimmers in it. It's warm like um, Eben, but it has gold shimmers in it. So it's going to give you that illumination that you love. It's going to give you the warmth and you're going to be able to contour with it. So you cannot beat that. You just you just can't beat it. If you have not checked out Marina Butte, please, please, please go check it out. All right, y'all. So those are my updated contour powders and bronzers for darker skin. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found a new baby. I always layer my bronzers and contour powders. Play around with it. Um, makeup is not just like a one-way street. You can do anything you want. You can mix, you can layer, do whatever you want. Um, but I hope you guys found um, and learned something new and found a product that you want to try out. If I missed one, um, let me know what's your favorite contour powder or bronzer for dark skin. I would really appreciate it. Um, so maybe I can do a part three one day. I hope this video found you in good spirits and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.